preach this morning the spirit of a mother. All right, all right. Come on this morning, and I will be reading from Exodus chapter 2, and we'll focus on verses 1 through 10. Is that all right? All right. And it reads. Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could not hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it, verse 6. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women? to nurse the baby for you? Mm -hmm. Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, take this baby and nurse him for me and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. Spirit of a mother. Y'all sit down. Let's work this thing out. I can remember back some 27, almost 28 years ago, when I was pregnant with my first child. I was a very quiet person. I was mischievous. I did some bad things. But uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was quiet and very reserved and extremely shy. I was so shy. I didn't want to be around people. Don't put me in front of nothing. You know, I'll participate, but I'm not going to take the lead. I'm just going to, you know, just be in the mix and, and do what everybody is doing. So that was me. But then I got pregnant. And this baby growing inside of me, it caused some things in me to kind of change. It, and, and, and I didn't see it coming. I, I didn't know that it was going to happen, but I found myself a lot more bolder. I found myself speaking up a lot more for myself. I found myself doing some things that on average I just would not do. I found myself not taking stuff that I normally would take. I found myself not listening to stuff that I normally would listen to. I found the spirit of a mother when I became a mother. Right. Now let me tell you something. It, was, it, it wasn't it was even that Wonder Woman thing. Did, didn't Wonder Woman have to spin around to become Wonder Woman? You know, uh, all the superheroes, the people that we know, the Incredible Hulk, they had to go through some type of transformation. My transformation was just simply carrying my child. All right, all right. What I did not realize, I was going to step into the day, the day, the day that he was born. I did not know I was going to step into the spirit of a mother. Come on. Right, come on now. What's the spirit of a mother? The spirit of a mother is a fighter. That's 
That's right. The spirit of a mother is aggressive. That's right. The spirit of a mother is a go-getter. Right. The spirit of a mother, oh, you don't take nothing from no one. It doesn't matter how many degrees they got behind their name. It doesn't matter how many badges they got on their chest. It doesn't matter how many plaques are on their wall. When you are a mother, there are just some things you will not take. That's right. I remember one mother, her baby boy was taken to jail. Somebody say jail. Jail. Her baby was taken to jail and the police were wrong. He was wrongfully arrested. That mother got on the phone and started making phone calls and she said, I tell you what, I will tear this jail down brick by brick until you get my son out of there. There is a spirit that comes upon you when you become a mother. That's right. When you have this child, when you bring forth life, I don't think it's accidental that you step into that spirit. I don't think it's just by chance. I don't think that it just happens. But I believe God knows what that child is going to be in need of. That's right. God knows what that child will face. And God knows who to pair that child with. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. When I had my children, I became bold. I became unapologetic. And I became the best mother that I knew how to be. That's Amen. Right. I became the best mother That's right. that I knew how to be. Oh, what did I do? I looked at the qualities of other mothers. Uh -huh. I looked at the things that other mothers did. I listened to the things that other mothers said. And what I thought was good, I took it yeah. and I adapted it to me. Amen. What I didn't agree with, I'm going to say, well, that's her that's and it. hers. I'm going to let her do her. But that's if it worked for me, I was going to work it. That's so right. I, I know, I know you're looking up here on the stage now and you just see me. But let me tell you who you don't see. You don't see Eloise Vic McLean right. that's standing up here on this stage with me. You don't see Clara Winston Purdy who's standing up here on this stage with me. You don't see Carolyn McLean who is standing on this stage with me. You don't see Lena Peck. You don't this 
deliverer was going to be. So a decree went out. Every male child, two years old and younger, kill them. Innocent blood. I want you to shed it because I'm scared of what's coming forth. All right. I'm scared of what may happen with the people. So, so that it does not happen, any child, male child, male child, two years old and younger, I want you to kill him. The decree goes forth. But now Yosheba finds herself pregnant. She couldn't go to the doctor and get a sonogram. She couldn't go to the doctor and find out the sex of the child. She had to wait until she gave birth. But I believe Yosheba did not wait until she gave birth. Yosheba didn't wait until the baby was born. But I believe she devised in her mind, what will I do if I have a son? Yeah. yeah. Yosheba, the Bible says, verse 2, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son when she saw. Somebody say, when, when she, she saw. saw. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. Point number one, I'm already there. She perceived. Perceived. Mm. When she saw that he was a fine child. Now, he was just born. Yeah. So how could he be just born but she saw that he was a fine child. Come on. When you have the spirit yeah. of a mother, yeah. you don't have to wait till your child matriculates through school. Oh. You don't have to wait until they get that first little piece of paper award from a teacher. But when you have the spirit of a mother, all you got to do is look at that baby. You see potential all That's over right. them. You yeah. see potential. Yes. 
When you have the spirit of a mother, you will start making plans for that child. You will plan the direction that they will go in. You will plan the people that they will hang out with. Right. You will plan the things that they will That's do. Indeed. You will plan the things that they will not do. That's you right. will make plans. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you know why you make it plans? Because you perceive. Right. Yes. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Because you perceive, mm -hmm. you protect, That's right. and you plan. That's right. That's right. And let me hasten to my seat. Because I know the restaurants are waiting for the mothers. <laughs> the spirit of a mother, the spirit of Yosheba, caused her to perceive that there was greatness in her son. Mm -hmm. The spirit of a mother caused her to protect her son. Yeah. The spirit of the mother caused her to plan for her son. Mm. And because she had the spirit of a mother. Because she did not want her child just to be killed. She did not want his blood to, to be shed in the river. She wanted to protect him. She wanted to see him to his appointed end. She wanted to do everything that she could to help her son. So she had a plan. Let me put him in this basket. Let me coat the basket so it won't sink when I put it in the water. Right. Let me coat the basket so water cannot get in the basket. Let me coat the basket to cover up all the cracks. Yeah. What was she doing? She was making sure that what could have killed her son couldn't get to her son. Oh, yeah. We got to make sure.
Yeah. Do some tough things. Yeah. Man. I can sit here. I can sit here. Our kids uh, are going through some tough things. Uh, our kids uh, are in a tough system. Yeah. Uh, our kids uh, are trying uh, to survive uh, this thing uh, called life. Yeah. Now, there was some uh, that the babies, uh, they were drowned. Uh, Children. It is in the formative years that you're 